I'm Dr. Patrick Basile from the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons in New York, and I'm going to summarize our recent data on the use of an orally disintegrating formulation of metoclopramide in late afternoon elective endoscopy. Endoscopy allows direct visualizations of the upper GI tract, esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, and traditionally performed early in the morning to ensure patients have an empty stomach and to ensure optimal visibility and therapeutic intervention. However, morning procedures that include sedation disrupt a whole day's work simply because of the procedure and sedation recovery time required. Prokinetic drug such as metoclopropamide removes residual fluids and fluid particles from the stomach and reduce the time of the endoscopic procedures. Recent anesthesiology guidelines prohibit the ingestions of liquid two hours and solid food six hours before endoscopic procedures and mandate early morning intervention to avoid peri-sedation and post-sedation hazards. This study investigates a novel approach to endoscopy that combines late day performance with modified food and fluid ingestion and the use of a prokinetic agent designed with a special delivery system that ensures optimal visibility of luminal field for targeted therapeutic interventions with a shorter duration of sedation. 129 patients who were scheduled for outpatient pan endoscopy received either a placebo or a 10 milligrams traditional tablet formulation of metoclopramide one hour prior to the procedure, or a 10 milligrams orally disintegrating metoclopramide tablet 20 minutes before the procedures given by the office staff. Propofol, a commonly approved and used sedative anesthesia for endoscopy, was given intravenously by an anesthesiologist to produce sedation. Both formulations were metoclopramides improved endoscopic visibility by 20% compared with placebo. In addition, total sedation time was significantly shorter with both medical propamide formulations compared with placebo, although there was not a significant difference between the traditional tablet and orally disintegrating tablets of medical propamide. Mean endoscopic procedure time was also shorter with both formulations of medical propamide compared with placebo. Average recovery time was significantly longer in the placebo group compared with the traditional tablets and orally disintegrating mulcopropamide. There was no statistically significant difference in recovery time between the traditional tablet and orally dis disintegrating mulcopropamide groups. Administrations of the orally disintegrating tablet of mulcopropamide was well supervised for patients' compliance. Few patients reported a slight bitter taste than the traditional tablet formulation of metoclopramide. The orally disintegrating tablet was better tolerated than either the traditional tablet formulation or placebo. Dizziness, confusion, abdominal distension were more prevalent in the placebo and traditional tablet metoclopramide compared with the orally disintegrating metoclopramide group. From the database, the use of a novel orally disintegrating formulations of the prokinetic medical propamide in late day endoscopy allowed better visualization than traditional tablet formulation of medical propamide or placebo with minimal side effects. It may also provide an economic benefit because accelerated recovery time and ability to schedule endoscopic procedures late in the day may limit the cost incurred by employees, employers, and third-party payers. Despite these positive results, a larger prospective clinical trial is necessary to confirm our findings.